So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make sounds go from left to right by using automation. Stick to the end. I'm going to show you a cool plugin that can do this for you automatically. And it's a Stop Logic Pro plugin. It's a secret one. So I'm just going to use this mix here as an example of how you can pan sounds. So we've got these ad libs. I'm going to make them go from left and right. Big fire and flames, back row fam where I'm out on mains Now where the ends they say my name Fake love now got them at this stage No at this stage, can't go back said I'll make a change Now I've got fans in different countries Cause their goals target Make sounds go from left to right So we could just use a pan pot You can do it like that Easy And just leave it left to right static So I'm just going to show you how to do that by using automation So press A It's going to bring up the automation window Then where it says main volume we're going to go to main, pan, absolute. It's going to bring up a new line, which is just a pan line. And then we're using our marquee tool, which is our second tool, second favorite tool here. And if you don't want to do it that way, you can just press T and bring up all your different tools that way. But by having it as your second tool, which I use all the time, makes it so much easier to create regions, cut, and just do all sorts of things with the marquee tool. But I won't get into that today. So press command and highlight a section, drag and release. Click on it, it's going to create four nodes. In green, you're going to see your pan. So if you go up, that's going to be to the left. And if you go down, it's going to be to the right, as you can see, as you can see there in the pan pot. So we're going to create another little node there so it goes from left, well, right to left. Fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out on mains. And that's how simple you can do it. If you don't want it to jump from left to right the way that it did then, and you just click on the middle nodes and it's going to create a slope. It's going to create a nice little slope for you. Spit fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out on mains. Yeah, let's drag that out a little bit longer. And you can hear what it's doing. Spit fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out on mains. If you want to get technical, you can press T and W and it will make different slopes. So you can create all types of slopes there if you want to. You don't have to be that technical, but it's always good to know these things so you can just be creative with it. So we're going to get rid of that. That's one way of doing it. The second way of doing creative fades is by clicking onto latch. Now you're going to find latch just under where it says group. Click latch. Now you're in the latch mode. Whatever you do on this channel, it's going to be automated. So we're going to press play, move the pan pot, and you're going to see the line, the pan position change. Speak five names, back row with the NSS, fake love now, got them at this strange. Now you can see there's millions of nodes there. You can do it that way. I've done it like that in the past. So once you've done that, you're going to put it into read mode. And this is what it's going to sound like. Spit fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out on. Let's play it with this the track. Get rid of the rest of the vocals. Spit fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out on mains. How would the ends they say my name? Fake love now, but they're back to strange. Okay, cool. So we got that. But for me, that's too many nodes. Too many nodes going in there. I feel like it's making the computer, the processor do think about it too much and have too much work to do. So what we can do is get rid of all of those. Make sure it's on zero. Create a node. One, two, three. And then just pull it up. Create another node there if we want, another node in the middle, and pull that down. So you've still got the same thing, but you've got less, less nodes. You can even pull that middle node out. Now you've got less nodes. Make sure that's in read mode, because if it's not in read mode, then it's not going to read the automation. Big fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out on mains. How would the NSA say my name? Now that's cool, I like that effect. So the secret effect or the secret plugin that I spoke to you, that I told you about earlier is one of my favorites that I use all the time and that is under modulation, tremolo, hmm, we need. It needs to be stereo, yeah, so mono to stereo, that's fine. And if you look at tremolo, it's basically an automation tool, panning left and right. So if I put that on one bar, you're gonna hear what it does. Big fire and flames, back row fan where I'm out. See so here, it goes from left to right. And that's just a plugin. So you've got the different rates, you've got your bars, you've got your depths. So if you didn't want to do all that automation and you've got like a certain specific part of your audio that you want to just pan left to right, then you can do that. Nice and simple. Just some quick tips for you to pan from left to right using automation or using that tremolo plugin. If this video's brought any value to you at all, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's get a few more producers and mix engineers on this video. It says this is the next best video for you to watch, so make sure that you do, and I'll see you there.